Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This video is actually clips from when I went to Spain to have my lipedema surgery and I didn't actually introduce this vlog so I thought I'd better sit down and do it or I feel like it doesn't make any sense but if you guys didn't know I have a disease called lipedema. If you want to learn more about it I posted a very in-depth video about it which I will leave as the first link in the down bar. Please go and watch that video to learn more because honestly there needs to be more awareness being raised about lipedema especially in the UK, I feel like it's such an uncommon thing that you hear people talk about, but a lot of women suffer with it, women specifically. Anyways, I headed to Madrid to have surgery with Dr. Burgess and the Lipa medical team. I'm gonna leave all of their information below. And this video starts off with me packing my case, so let's get straight to that. Of summer you want. Have you heard of Lucky Girl Syndrome? One thing that I have to take for my surgery is puppy pads. I saw some other girls who've had the surgery use these, and you basically just put them like anywhere you're sitting because your legs are gonna kind of leak. I just thought that was such a good idea. Anyways, I'm also taking a bag full of some protein bars and stuff. A couple of other things that you need for surgery are these gloves that help you pull up the compression and these easy slide things. So apparently you use some arm ones and some leg ones to get the compression on, but these are helpful after surgery. I haven't actually opened these yet. It just acts as a barrier between your skin and just makes it easier for the compression to slide on. So I'm sure I will film the process of using these. <laughs> but I've just written myself a list of things to pack. It is so so long. It feels so strange because I've never had surgery in a different country before and I like want to take everything, everything I own, <laughs> just in case. But my suitcase can only be 20 kilograms, so I need to bear that in mind. But I have got some bulky things in there like the puppy pads and like all of my protein. I'm taking this box of protein shakes as well. My case is gonna be mostly other things instead of clothes because I'm not really gonna be wearing that many clothes. Like I'll just be recovering. Let's go through all of the toiletries that I'm taking before I pack them so I can tick them off my list. I'm taking some pads because I might come on my period at some point, maybe. Taking nail polish remover because you can't have nail polish on for surgery. But I'm also gonna take my nail polish. I'm just taking a dark green and like a gray blue color so that I can paint my nails after surgery. And I've got my base coat on top coat. I've got my toothpaste, a deodorant. I've got my hand cream. This is the Cetra Ben hand cream. I've got some soap because soap is something that I am always allergic to, but I'm not allergic to this one. So I am just taking this soap. More moisturizer, the ultra repair cream, my vitamin D chews, some makeup wipes. I haven't decided whether I'm actually going to take makeup yet, but I think I probably will just in case I'm super bored and I just want to put some on. I've got my Skin and Me Daily Doser and my moisturizer that I use at night. And then I've got a little face cleanser and my actual cleanser to go with it. Again, the first aid beauty one. Then I've got some conditioner. I've got a bit more of an intense conditioner just in case. I've got a couple of my sprays that I use when I'm out of the shower. So I've got my mane and tail and I've got a hair oil. Then I've got some shampoo, which I just popped in this squeezy bottle. I've got some body wash. This is the one that I use, Faith in Nature. The reason why I'm taking so much of this stuff and not just buying it there is because I do have sensitive skin and I have reactions to stuff. So like if I know a product is good for me, I basically want to take that. But then I've just got my razor and my eyelash serum and I'm probably missing some stuff. So we will have have to see when I've packed this what I'm missing. That's it for now. Something that I forgot is my body moisturizer, which I've just decanted into another one of these. And then I'm actually just gonna take this toothbrush because I bet you I forget my electric toothbrush in the morning. Okay, <laughs> contact lenses. I also saw one of the girls who had the surgery say that this was super helpful. It's basically called a sheepy and it looks like this. I mean, I don't think I need to explain how it works, but because the comp compression is so tight and during the surgery he does like around your knees and stuff. I don't think it's going to be that easy to sit down on the toilet because the compression is going to really like dig in when you pull them down. So I did see a girl use one of these and she said it was really helpful so I'm going to take that as well. My case is going to be so heavy because this is my toiletries bag. <laughs> Bloody hell. I do feel like I need all this stuff though, you know? <laughs> Nice to see mommy. I 
your nose. Boop. soggy now who's soggy from the bed oh i kiss wow let's go to spain <laughs> i'm sorry for the times i forget Hello everybody, we have made it to Madrid and we've made it to the Airbnb. My hair is a little bit wild. I basically curled it this morning, knowing that tomorrow it's gonna drop. But yeah, it's giving me like 70s, 80s vibes. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I would do a little tour of the Airbnb. It's super nice. Okay, so as you walk in, let's go into the living area first. So it's kind of sectioned off and we've got a kitchen, which is so cute. But I also love the fact that they've put glass there. So the kitchen is in the living room, but it's kind Kind of sectioned off and then we come round here we've got a little dining table here and a little telly in the corner some shelves up there and then as you turn around there is this big sofa which is actually a sofa bed so this place has two beds because the sofa bed is one but yeah looking through to the kitchen i think this layout is really cool and then as we walk down here we've got the jade <laughs> hiding in the hall <laughs> she's been banished <laughs> what are you doing Shoot. We come to the bathroom. I love the fact that they've used glass doors in this flat. It does make it feel bigger. But yeah, there's a huge mirror and a nice little vanity thing. And a huge shower as well over there. It's so nice and clean. And then as we go down here, you are in the bedroom. I've actually unpacked all of my stuff already. But obviously there's just the bed here. And then a bunch of wardrobe space. A little dressing area, which is cute. And these big mirrors, which are going to be great to take progress photos of my legs. Anyways, I love these wardrobes because they've got a light. Look, it comes on. And I've just unpacked all of my stuff already for surgery. I can't believe surgery day is here already. I've been waiting since, I mean, to be honest, I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this surgery for at least the last eight years. But yeah, tomorrow's the day. I'm feeling good about it, feeling kind of nervous, but we are just going to go out and explore Madrid. It's currently 3.40 on a Sunday, so I doubt honestly anywhere is open. But we do need a few like food bits. I need some water and stuff. And we're just gonna go on a nice little walk. It's nice and cold as well. <laughs> it's lovely. Look at this jelly cat that my brother and Sophie got me for Christmas. But when I miss Nell, I can bring it with me. It's adorable. It's so small. <laughs> Our Airbnb building is under construction right now. <laughs> Mum just reminded me that I actually have an appointment with my surgeon tonight. I'd completely forgotten about it. This looks like the coziest shop in the world. <laughs> Look at these blankets. It's a blanket with a hood. Look. a little food haul of what we've just picked up in Aldi. So I got some Alpro yogurts, some tortillas. We got some different kinds of cheese. I got two different types, so I don't know what they are. Then I got some hot dogs. I've been really craving hot dogs. I've got some pasta and I got a salad as well. We have got some milk. I got some Werther's Originals for the hospital. I got some butter, tomatoes, this yogurt, just because I thought it was so cute. <laughs> some mayonnaise. We got an apple and a pear. Mum got got some sparkling water, I just got some normal water, and then I got these crisps because I thought they looked fun. We've also got some rice krispies, and obviously I brought all of my 
protein stuff here. But yeah, I've also got a banana and I've brought some raisins too. Oh my God, there's a shelf here. I can vlog. Looking a little bit questionable right now, but I just got in from seeing Dr. Burgess and that went really well. He's super happy with where my legs are at because I've been wearing my compression like a good girl. And now the fat in my legs is a lot softer. So it'll be a lot easier to take it out, which is great. It is currently quarter to nine though. And we've got to be at the hospital at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So we're just going to get some food. I think I'm just going to have a wrap. Then I'm going to pack my bag. Loving this shelf. I love this little Airbnb. It's so cute. Nice. <laughs> so what do you want in your wrap? A sprinkling of mayo. <laughs> oh, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Gold cutlery. Do you just want one wrap? <laughs> <laughs> An absolute delicacy, the cheese and onion wrap. Good morning, guys. I've just made it to the hospital. I mean, kind of quiet because it's like just turned 7 a.m. But I've made it here. Mum's here with me. I'll show you the room, but it's super nice. I actually slept really well last night. I just needed like 10 more hours. This is what it looks like. Super nice. And I think there's a bathroom in here. Ah, there we go. Lovely. Hello again, everybody. <laughs> I've got my little hospital outfit on now lovely yeah oh. okay i'll show you what jane just showed me in a second but i am ready now i've just got to put a hairnet on and some nets on my feet then we're good to go mum was looking at these a second ago they've got little bears on the wheels loving this hairnet Hi, darling. Hello. Hello, Wazowski. How are you doing? When did they run the bar? Just now. Oh. <laughs> How are you feeling? Thirsty. Thirsty. I've got you some water. Hello, guys. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. I'm feeling a lot better than I did when I first woke up. When I first woke up and looked at my legs, they were just like covered, weren't they? And it, it looks like blood, but it's not blood. It's basically a little bit of blood mixed with the water that you pump through you, like this, the solution. But yeah, that was everywhere, but they've been in, changed my bed and mum's just gone and got me a nice cup of tea. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy that. Feeling remarkably okay right now, but I have just been pumped with some sort of painkiller, so. <laughs> I think you know that's probably doing its job. <laughs> Looks like my tea's just arrived, just as I was vlogging right here so this is tea for today we've got some potatoes and gammon I love gammon I used to eat gammon with my nan <laughs> the boredom dance <laughs> Stunning. My phone's broken, so this is our entertainment. <laughs> It's Jane or nothing. Good morning, guys. It's day two in the Big Brother house and I actually get discharged today. I've just spoken to Dr. Burgess, the surgeon, and he said that everything has gone fine and we are now just on the road to recovery. I'm feeling quite shaky, like holding this camera right now. Sorry if it's shaky. But apart from that, I feel okay. Like I do have pain in my legs, but I think I've had more painful surgeries than this. So it's not bothering me, at least right now. Yeah, it hurts a bit when I stand up, but I have my first MLD today, which is manual lymphatic drainage. So I'm gonna take you along to see what that looks like. I get to take my trousers off and mum's gonna head to the flat and wash them because, oh my God, they are covered in blood. I've got a sore throat from the tube that they put down your throat. And mum has very kindly brought me some wraps. It's not quite a sandwich, but it's a wrap and it's delicious. I've got cheese and onion. Anyways, I'll catch up later. Looks like we've got some paella, I think, and some fish and bread and an apple for lunch today. So I headed off to my first MLD. Walking was really, really difficult, I have to say. It's probably taken all of the five weeks for me to be able to walk completely normally.
But anyways, back to the MLD, they basically wrap your legs and do lymphatic drainage on them. And they use this machine that constantly moved my feet for 40 minutes and oh my gosh, my legs ached so much after that. MLD, we just went for food. I got this incredible barbecue pizza. I'm still dreaming about it today. <laughs> morning everybody sorry that these updates have been kind of sporadic i have actually got double compression today when i went to the mld yesterday she told me that my compression is no longer working so obviously they've taken so much fat and that was made to measure when my legs were bigger so now it's a bit baggy so i have to wear this second pair on top and they're definitely working <laughs> let's just say that but i am now just packing my case because we actually fly home today which is exciting but also kind of sad because I do really like it here in Madrid. I feel like I need more time to explore. Here we go, we're getting somewhere. I'm just actually about to put my camera away so all the other footage from now until when I get home is going to be on my phone. I do have to say Madrid is one of my new favorite cities. I cannot wait to go back. I think I'm gonna make another trip before my next surgery just so I can go and like have a proper explore. It's really good for shopping as well, especially the area that I stayed in. It was so close to the shopping area. I absolutely loved walking around. All of the buildings were so beautiful. There's a little Jeremy Bean at the door. What's this tiny little Jeremy Bean doing? Go on, go on, go on. Good boy. Jeremy, aren't you cute? Aren't you sweet? Wow. Oh, a kiss from Bobby. I am now home, as you can see. I'm in my double compression, which is actually worse than just wearing the single compression because it's so much harder to go to the toilet and stuff to like pull down two of them when they're so tight. But it's doing its job. I've got a Nelson on the chair. I've got a string bean somewhere. There he is. And mum and I are just going for a drive through Starbucks. Can't really walk much right now. So yeah, I'm gonna just sit in the car, go through the drive through get a nice Starbucks. And that's that. We got the goods. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. this every day and I'm still so amazed by you so hold me tight Hello everybody, I am back. It's been a long time since I updated you and boy do I have an update. Firstly, I should probably say I am now five weeks post-op. I'm feeling good. I'll give you a little update on my legs first. The shape is coming along so well, like the swelling is definitely going down a lot. But I do have quite a lot of hard bits in my legs. So whenever I go to massage, they're like trying to get rid of those right now. I have been wearing double compression for a little while. I really need to get another pair of made to order compressions made. I'm just waiting for this lady to have a free slot to book me and to be able to do it. I think that's going to be maybe next week or the week after. So I was wearing two pairs for quite a while. Oh my god, it was affecting my mood so much. I'm not going to lie. They were so uncomfy. I could barely sit down. I couldn't like crease my legs or anything because they just dug in so badly. So right now I'm only wearing the top pair, which are like the tights. And that's been so much better for me but I do notice that 
by the end of the night, like when I take them off, my ankles are more swollen than if I were to wear both pairs of them, but I just can't do that right now. As for bruising, my bruising has basically completely gone now and all of my incisions have healed up, which is amazing. I actually shaved my legs for the first time yesterday and I feel so silky and smooth. So my leg healing has been going very well. It's like other aspects of my life that haven't. I'm gonna talk about this in a different video and give you the whole rundown of what went on because it's got nothing to do with the Lipa medical team or my surgery that I had. It's like a completely different issue. But I do know what caused my bleed in August now. And I had another internal bleed that required six blood transfusions while I was recovering from my leg surgery. And again, they are like completely different things. And I will talk about this more in depth in a different video. But basically I found out what was wrong with my stomach and I'm on the way to healing now, which is so exciting. And as soon as I got home from Spain, I got COVID for the first time. I've avoided it for, what is it now, like three years? And then as soon as I got home from my surgery, I got it. And that completely wiped me out for a good two weeks. Honestly, I feel like I'm still getting over it now. I am very, very tired. But because I got that. It meant that I couldn't have my MLD massage. Obviously, I was isolating in the house. So I went two weeks without having any massage on my legs right when I got back from Spain. And I feel like that definitely has pushed my recovery back a couple of weeks. Although I do feel like my legs still are in a good place. So if anything like that happens to you, just know that you will get out of the other side of it. And as long as you or a loved one or whoever you live with is massaging your legs for you in the morning and after you take your compression off at night. My mum was doing that for me. I'm so grateful for that because I do feel like that helped while I couldn't have the proper MLD. But yeah, if this happens to you after the surgery, just know that there is an end in sight because for those 10 to 14 days, I felt horrendous and I was like, oh my God, my legs are gonna be ruined because I can't have the proper massage. It was just a time and a half, but I'm out of the other end of it. I'm feeling good, very tired, but very good. And I'm so happy with my legs. The Lipa medical team have been incredible, honestly. If I have a question or anything, they are always there to answer it and give me tips. And they've been keeping in contact with me while I've been back in England and giving me tips on like what to do with my legs while I was isolating and stuff like like that and they've just been an absolute dream. So I'm gonna leave that information below if any of you guys have lipedema and you wanna check them out. I can't recommend anyone better. I'm also gonna leave the Airbnb that I stayed at because that was a gorgeous, gorgeous place and I would recommend that as well. It is quite close to the MLD center. So it's not that close to the hospital that I went to but you have to go and have MLD every day for seven to 10 days after your surgery. It's definitely a walking distance from there although mom did hire me a wheelchair which I was recommended and she like pushed me around in the wheelchair and I do have to say Madrid is not a very wheelchair friendly city that is something that I noticed it is not good if you are in a wheelchair but it's doable definitely doable I feel like I'm just blabbering because this is the first time I've properly sat down to talk to the camera in like five or six weeks and I haven't or organized my thoughts at all so I'm sorry if this was such a ramble I am gonna do another update probably in a couple of weeks time so look out for that I might even do it on Instagram but like I said I do feel like what happened to me with my stomach issues and getting COVID that has pushed me back a good couple of weeks in recovery so I do feel like I want to pass the next two or three weeks and then give you a proper proper in-depth update about everything as of right now I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching this video if you want to keep up with me I'm gonna be posting a lot more on Instagram in the next few months I want to get back to posting outfit photos and stuff now I'm a lot more confident with my legs I feel so happy with them and I've only had the first surgery so I can't imagine what I'm gonna feel like when I've had all of them it's gonna be unreal give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I will be back with a Primark haul very soon and I'll see you then bye